Jokey joke, but what if pi is equal to 3? What would happen? The entire foundations of geometry and mathematics would crumble. Let me show you. For one thing, we know pi is not equal to 3 because we can prove it is not 3. And in fact, we have methods to compute digits and digits and billions of digits of pi. But are all those digits really necessary? Like Indiana tried once, uh, maybe 3.2 is good enough of an approximation of pi for all intents and purposes, or maybe just 3. Maybe setting pi to be equal to 3 has no consequences. Well, let's see how everything crumbles if we assume that pi is equal to 3. And I mean everything. Let's start with a circle of radius 1. We know that the area of a circle of radius 1 is pi. So, now we can inscribe regular polygons inside the circle, compute the area of the polygons, and compare the area of the polygon and the area of the circle that we are assuming to be pi, which we are assuming to be 3. By the way, this method of inscribing and circumscribing uh, polygons to a circle was used by Archimedes to come up with his approximations of the number pi. Now, the area of a regular hexagon of radius equals to 1 is 3 square root of 3 divided by 2. So that's not good enough because that is 2.59 something. So that is less than 3, and the area of this hexagon is indeed less than the area of the circle. So no contradiction here. So let's go one step farther and inscribe a regular dodecagon inside uh, the circle of radius 1. But we do have a formula for the area of a dodecagon of radius r, and in fact there is a very nice proof to show that the area of the dodecagon corresponds to the area of three squares of side length r. Therefore, the area of the dodecagon is 3r squared, and when r is 1, the area of the dodecagon is exactly 3. That's weird, because it really looks like the dodecagon it's really inscribed and smaller than the circle, but we've just found out that they actually have the same area, 3 and 3, pi. So what happens to all these points in the circle that are away from the dodecagon? They actually have to be in the same line. Because if the point P on the circle was not the point Q on the dodecagon, then the triangle PQR would have a positive area, and the area of the circle would be bigger than the area of the dodecagon. But we know they have exactly the same area. So all those points are on the dodecagon, so the dodecagon is a circle. Therefore, already things are going pretty wrong. There are no circles, only dodecagons. But it gets worse. Let's look at this triangle here and see what is going on. This side over here was a radius, so it's length 1. But we found out that all those points on that little line are on the circle itself, so they are also all distance 1 from the center, so this is also a radius, but that is clearly a 90 degree angle, so Pythagoras applies, and it says that 1 square plus h square, the length of that little piece of a side of the dodecagon, is equal to 1 squared, but that h, that length, you can also calculate how what's the side length of the dodecagon, and is the square root of 2 minus the square root of 3 divided by 2, so something like 0 0.25. So that length is non-zero, and that means that 1 is bigger than 1. Pretty bad contradiction. So no, pi cannot be equal to 3. And in fact, if you were to cut the decimal expansion of pi at any point with 1 million digits, if you want, we could reach exactly the same contradiction by using polygons of larger and larger number of sides by either inscribing or circumscribing the polygon to the circle, we can arrive to the same contradiction uh, with any sort of approximation of pi that is not exactly pi.